Diesel. Top of this fine morning to you. What a fine morning it is. Please drive to highlight it. What? No. Warning, warning. Oh. Agree, I will not touch it while I drive. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So we're in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And we're headed home today. And my friend's coming over tonight. I'm really excited, I haven't seen him in a while. A long time, actually. When was the last time James came over and visited? Was that when we had that game night? Or was that when we went riding our bikes? I don't know, I'm, I'm excited. I get a little more excited than the average person when my friends come over, because uh, me and a truck driver, <laughs> you never ever get to see your friends, ever. You're always gone, and that's just part of the life. Like I, I, I love this lifestyle driving a truck, but it makes these, uh, Please I guess. Drive to highlight what? You already said that. Interrupted my moment, my excitement. Anyways, you guys get it. Diesel. You excited, man? I'm very excited. Look, look at me. I have my excited face on, don't I? This is my excited face. Can't you see it? I'm gonna have to work on that a bit, but it's, it's not very excited. What if we went outside? No. Not if you have that camera, man. I'm not going outside if you point that camera at me. Pretty much what he's thinking. I have a direct line of communication to his brain. <laughs> I've been with him every single day of his life for the past, what, three years or so? I know exactly what he's thinking. You should have seen him just before I put this camera on. He was like bouncing off the wall. We're going outside! We're going outside! And I was like, yeah, we're going out. Wait, no, we have to vlog first. And he just like, kerplunk, falls down in that position and hasn't moved. <laughs> you want to go outside, Diesel? Walk in the weasel. So don't look at me. Do you always have that camera, man? You know what you don't, don't you ever put that camera away? You know every day, man. Don't you have holidays, vacations, nothing? Nope, every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every day. I'm always making videos about stuff. Hey right, diesel. Anyways guys. We're gonna enjoy our little piece of nature here in Thunder Bay at the Petrocanner. Yes! We woke up at the same place we went to sleep. Good. I'll see you guys in a bit. Come on, bud. We need to hammer down. I wanna get home. I wanna get home, man. Watch where you're going, man. You're too busy sniffing. Come on, ran right into the truck. Alright, you ready to get in here? You take this off here. My left hand. Wow, that was, that was pretty good. Right. On your seat, bud. Good boy. Dry off on your seat. Okay. Whoo! We need to get going. Let's hit the road. Let the day begin. We are on the Trans Canada, our version of an interstate. Trans Canada westbound, just west of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Big town would be Dryden, about three hours, and another three and a half hours, and hey, we should be at the yard. And I dropped this trailer there, and then I bob pail home. That's, that's right. There you go, is that Jerry? There you go, Jerry. Jerry, is that you? Jerry, Jerry, he has a new truck, uh, big rig talk. He has a new truck, uh, just like that. I saw it on. Or it might have been him. Are these guys gonna let me past? Excuse me, I'd like to be in front of you. You are going too slow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'd like to do at least a little close to the speed limit. You know. They were doing like 70 in a 90 zone. That's kilometers an hour. 
So many times you pull up beside someone to pass them on those passing lanes, and that's when they feel the urge to see how fast they can go. They speed up. Oh, it bugs me. Anyways, getting closer to Manitoba, there's almost no leaves on the trees here. <laughs> Fuel. Time to fill her up. She's thirsty again. She's always so thirsty. Diesel, we gotta hurry, man. Lots of people here. I wanna get home, okay? We're gonna fuel this truck up, then we're gonna take you outside, and then we're not gonna stop again until we get to the yard, okay? So get it all out, okay? None of this little squirt here, little squirt there. All of it, because we're not stopping again. Okay, man, don't copy, tell me about it. Jeez. But it's been a good drive so far. Good drive. Uh, it's been raining all day again. Day number four of driving through miserable weather. Good thing that doesn't affect my mood that I'm still in a good mood. So yeah, I'm headed home today. Oh, I can't wait to get to my house. Just to drive up to my house and see my house. I haven't seen it in 25 days. I saw it once actually in between. That doesn't count. That was just stopping in for the night and it was dark when I got there and dark when I left, I'm pretty sure. Didn't count. Didn't count, no care what you say. Okay, mm, let's get some fuel, let's get out of here. I just wanted to show this real quick. Remember how Flying J this year is wrapping up their DEF pump because it always freezes in wintertime? Look what Husky did. Husky just put a sign on here. When temperature reach minus 15 degrees Celsius or lower, this dispenser is closed. DEF drugs are available for purchase in our store. Yeah, they say they're available, but they're like 10 times as expensive. It's very inconvenient. Like here, the DEF is 79.9 a liter. So 79 or 80 cents a liter for DEF. But you go inside and you gotta pay like 20 bucks for four liters. I might be totally off there, but someone will tell me the actual cost. I know it's way higher to buy the jugs. So inconvenient, like why create this DEF junk? if it's not gonna be good enough for the climate that it's operating in. Like it's all these new devices for fuel efficiency and emissions and stuff, it's all junk. Okay, that's my own personal opinion and I know a lot of drivers share that opinion. There's way too many politicians who have nothing to do with trucking, imposing all these laws on the trucking industry when they don't even understand the industry to begin with. If I don't stop myself there, I'm gonna go into like a five minute rant. So, we're just gonna leave it at that. Dried in Ontario. Want some minnows? Right on the left there, it sells minnows right there. Or is that shop closed? Oh, that shop might actually be closed down, I don't know. So many businesses in town here are closing their doors. Talked about it last time we went through here. Uh, the mill, off to our left there, it's a paper mill laid off a lot of their employees in the last little while. Hey, look, another truck like Jerry's. Is that Jerry? 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 Nope, not Jerry. Anyways. They've laid off a lot of uh, workers lately. And that's really had a big hit on this whole town. So a lot of people from this town are coming to Winnipeg to work in Manitoba. Check this out here, eh? It just has waiting way down the road because they're blasting this rock away here. I didn't get to see or hear the booms, but look at that mess, eh? Oh, that'd be a fun job. Just blow stuff up. How was work today? Explosive. Nice. Nice. I would have loved.
love to see that go boom. They should make a TV show or a YouTube channel about people who blow stuff up like that. That'd be awesome. I'd watch that. Oh, they're doing it over here too, look at this. I guess they're widening the road maybe or something. Maybe they've been watching my videos and they're gonna make it a four lane. Not likely. <laughs> you know, if we ever did get the four lane, as much as I would like it and as much as I complain about the two lane, I wouldn't miss this little historic two lane going through Canada. It's sort of like our Route 66, right? It's the original. And what is this hanging into my lane here? Hey! Hey, what do you do? You're not gonna get a house through there. Well, I guess maybe you will. Could have at least stayed out of my lane, but oh well. All right. Look at this long lineup, eh? They're all wondering what is going on. Why are we not moving? Dude, they're blowing stuff up. That's why. droplets coming from. It's annoying. Oh, and we're still going. Still going on all these people. Oh, somebody's moving. U-Haul. Ah! Hope I never move again. How was that? Excitement in the afternoon. So we're two and a half hours from Winnipeg, or from the yard, approximately. Once we get there, we're gonna drop the trailer like I've been telling you and head home. Manitoba welcomes you, and they welcome you with an open scale. Yeah. Oh, oh they just turned the scale lights off. Diesel, didn't we get lucky? We just got to go around it. The video proof, the lights are not flashing. I'm going past. So is that guy. nervous doing this. <laughs> the lights weren't flashing. You turn them off. You close the scale. Thank you very much. They probably got notified. Trucker Josh is coming. Quick, close the scale. Don't slow them down. Thank you very much. If only that were the truth, eh? place on earth and flat landed Manitoba four lane goodness good to be home good to be home Manitoba bush no place like home so I just passed a guy again parked on the shoulder first mistake. I don't like it when people park on the shoulder of a highway. It's just strange. I know it's a Newfoundland. They do that a lot. Everybody parks on the shoulder. It, it bothers me. It seems like it's really someone's going to get hurt doing that. Anyways, that's not the point. This guy parked on the shoulder here, right back there. I didn't want to show it. Whatever. He's out there, relieving himself. Drain in the main vein, you know what I mean? Right out in the open, like no shame, like nothing. Right out in the open, like plain as day sight, there he is. Totally understand what he's doing, like, no hiding it, just letting the world see the flow, you know? So I honked at him, you know, just to say, hey! <laughs> 
That takes guts, buddy. Maybe he was on a dare. I don't know. Maybe a friend dared him to do it, but I don't know. If I ever see people doing that, like I see that every now and then. People just no shame, just right out on the side of the road, just whip it out and go. Like it's. It may disgust some of you, but I don't know. Whenever I see that, I always give him a honk. Just to say, hey, you know, we can see you. Sort of also like a high five, like, hey, that takes guts, buddy. <laughs> made me laugh except I wouldn't high five him after he was doing that you know what I mean though that's just think it's funny say honk at him so if you ever see someone doing that give him a honk let him know you can see him <laughs> sometimes I guess they don't realize how obviously how open it is especially in Manitoba and <laughs> it freaks them out like, <laughs> I think it's a good little thing to do I don't know I don't know I'm weird I'm weird all right guys we're back at the yard just dropped our trailer just went in and had a chat with everybody in the office see how everyone was doing catch up with everybody a little bit and now james is waiting for me here he's gonna follow me to my house so let's go and have an evening of fun hanging out i'm really pumped to hang out with this guy but first check this out check this out i got a new id badge Duh. how's that hey eh? How's that for a mug shot? Anyways guys, time to go home. You know that feeling when your hometown comes into sight after being away for 25 days? Yeah, that's that's my feeling right now. Steinbach! How have you been? What's new? Nothing looks new so far. Everything still looks the same. Good! I don't have to learn anything new. Good to be back. And you are speeding. Yes, I'm in the left lane. I'm turning left right away. What? So we're back in Steinbach. Good old Steinbach. 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 This is the land of my ancestors, so to speak. This is where they first came and settled when we got here. I don't know how they got here. Well, I came over the ocean by a boat and then a horse and carriage all the way up here. I don't know. It was quite the trek getting up here and settled what is now known as Steinbeck. Here we are, generations later. Just as excited to see it. If you guys are ever curious, you can always go and research the history of Steinbeck on Google. Steinbeck is spelt with the E before the I, S-T-E-I-N-B-A-C-H. So sort of like Steinbach. Well, hello, totally different scene, totally different day. I'm here editing the video which you are watching right now. See, this is the last clip that you just saw that I was talking about how to spell and say Steinbach. It's like Steinbach. I just read that, yeah. I just uh, edited that. What's going on here, why am I? Anyways guys, uh, so this weekend, I took a little break from YouTube. Uh, I didn't edit every day. I'm, uh, I still filmed a little bit each day, but I'm gonna combine it into uh, one home time vlog, altogether home time vlog. Uh, so that'll be released on Monday, I believe, or Sunday, I don't know. But there's probably not gonna be a video today, guys, so unless I come up with something crazy and creative tomorrow yet, which might happen. But just in case if that doesn't happen, don't be alarmed. I'm not dead. I didn't quit making YouTube videos. That's not gonna happen. Everything's okay. Nothing's changed. I just took it easy while I was at home. I had James over. Uh, I had a Thanksgiving gathering today for me. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. So if you don't see a video from me for a day or two, it's all good. It's all gonna go back to the regular daily videos, 4 a.m. Central Time every day, in just a little bit. So, just needed some time to relax and uh, ease up a little bit just for the weekend. Yeah, so, uh, I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for watching the vlog today, guys. I hope you liked it. I put all the effort into editing it here for you guys, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, or maybe not. 
But I will see you again soon. Check in tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time is when it'll go up here in North America, if there is something. If not, I'll see you when I see you. Monday at the latest. But, uh, see you later. <laughs>